Now, the Pakistani Army Chief General Asim Munir has openly backed Nawaz Sharif's call to form a coalition government with other political parties. Uh, clearly, both the Army and Nawaz Sharif uh, led PM PLMN are aligned to ensure uh, that Imran Khan's PTI or its independently backed candidates do not form the government. Now, the Pakistani Army General has in fact advocated for a court unified government of all democratic forces unquote meanwhile nawaz sharif has reached out to ppp supremo asif ali zardari to form an alliance on the other hand imran khan's sister lima khan has stated that her brother inspired a revolution in the country and has asserted that uh, the pti's independents have two-thirds majority and hence the right to govern Joining us on the broadcast is Colonel Shodan Singh, a defense expert. Uh, now, big statements coming in at this point. Pakistani Army Chief uh, General Asim Munir has openly backed Nawaz Sharif's call to form the coalition government in Pakistan. It is no secret that Nawaz Sharif has uh, been backed and is the favored candidate of the Pakistani Army, which has considerable influence over uh, the politics as well as the economy of uh, the country of Pakistan, which is also in doldrums. So uh, what do you think will pan out next in Pakistan? Uh, do you think uh, it is going to be Nawaz Sharif who is going to steer the sinking ship? Uh, or uh, do you think that there is any possibility for Imran Khan to make a comeback or will he be exiled now? You see, in Pakistan, 1971 is being repeated. Like it is said, the history repeats itself. In 1970, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman came back with majority and he was having a rightful claim on the Prime Minister's blessing. But that time, military dictator did not appoint him as a Prime Minister and instead uh, made Julfikar Ali Bhutto a Prime Minister and there was a big sort of a agitation in in that time East Pakistan and now Bangladesh. Now same thing I am visualizing in, in uh, Pakistan now also because army if backing the Nawaz Sharif and Nawaz Sharif was called from abroad only for this purpose because army he wanted him to head the government in uh, civil government in Pakistan and army want a sort of a puppet uh, Prime Minister who can be been controlled by army easily and whereas Imran Khan's personality is such that he was not liking army governance and he was all, 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 like he deferred on appointment of DG, the ISPR there in Pakistan and he did not approve chief's uh, recommendation of uh, uh, appointee there. So now uh, army got no faith in Imran Khan and army will certainly appoint and Nawaz Sharif as a Prime Minister and, and force others to uh, support him. So again, uh, Pakistan is heading for a big unrest and there will be law and order problem and it will be almost a civil war because their terrorist groups will mix with these crowd of uh, Imran Khan's party and create a lot of disturbance in the country, uh, a lot of sort of a blast and etc. By doing this, they will blame Imran Khan party that they are creating this kind of trouble. And uh, there is law and order problem in the disguise. Either Nawaz Sharif uh, remains a prime minister or army takes over the uh, uh, reins of Pakistan. So uh, Pakistan is heading for a big trouble and army is wholly responsible for this whole trouble. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.